Today, we'll look at a DMI-8 microscope that's part of a Thunder 3D assay system. It is a fully motorized microscope with two cameras. Your microscope configuration may vary. So starting with the top, we have the transmitted light arm. We can push the transmitted light arm back to better access our sample holder and stage area. Going down the microscope, we have the condenser. We'll go over color alignment in another video later. This microscope comes with two stage inserts. One is a 96 well or well plate holder, and the other is for slides and small petri dishes. The next part of your microscope is the motorized stage, which is controlled by the smart move or joystick. Then we have the nose piece objective turret, the filter cube turret, and the focus knobs. Then we have these buttons on either side of the microscope that are programmable. There are two cameras with this microscope. One is the K5 monochrome camera and the other is a DMC 4500 color camera. To send light to the color camera, you have to pull this knob out. Next, let's look at the smart move, which controls your stage and your focus. So the back button is for Z focus, the front top is for Y, and the bottom is for X. Moving the front wheels moves the stage in Y and X. Um, and then the back is for the focus, and you can also use the focus knob if you're more comfortable. Now on either side are these buttons for the stage speed and the Z speed. So on the left side of the microscope are controls for the light intensity, including shutter, light intensity knob, transmitted light and fluorescent light toggle, field diaphragm buttons, and then an aperture diaphragm button. On the right side of the microscope, we have buttons to set the Z focus, the Z escape, and then four programmable buttons for anything of your choosing. So the eyepieces are tiltable, so please adjust them to a comfortable height. And you can also adjust the intraocular distance. The eyepieces themselves are also adjustable depending on your eyesight. A quick troubleshooting tip, these two flaps should always be down. If they're up like that, they will block the light, so make sure that they're down. That concludes this video. If you have further questions, please contact us.